going three-wheeling, got the Honda ATC. Going three-wheeling. Hey, what's going on, guys? So here it is. Well, here they are. I got two ATC 70 frames. One is a roller. The other is a potential roller. I do have some other parts on the way. Um, the reason why I purchased them like this is, A, it was a good deal. I got them for $100. And B, I really wanted to build basically a new 70. So based basically having the frame the roller is is perfect for me because i'm going to put new plastic seat uh aftermarket engine maybe go big bore uh preferably electric start with uh i mean i'd like to find one with reverse i'm not sure if any of the guys online right now are selling ones with reverse but um yeah, this was something I've been looking for for a while. You can't find these things cheap anymore. And everybody's scooping them up. And anybody selling one that's like junk, even if it's like uh, not running, they want like a grand up in the uh, in uh, the Northeast. I believe this is an 85, assuming that sticker is correct. Um, it's fairly complete as far as a roller goes. It has the, the brakes all still on there uh, the line still lined up um, it needs tires uh, that's to be expected I mean I could make this thing into a brand new three-wheeler for maybe about a grand everything shiny and new have the frame and uh, fork uh, paint it or powder coat it and uh, throw some new tires on clean up the wheels Get the aftermarket engine. I'm not sure what size everybody's running. I know um, some of them are bigger than bigger than others. I'd like to uh, get something um, at least 100 cc. You know, maybe uh, maybe get a 125 or a 150 or whatever size uh, has a good deal on on uh, either eBay or one of the sites that's selling them. And um, I got this other frame. I mean, there's a bunch of good parts on it. Uh, I have a front end that I have lined up for it and a few other parts, probably some uh, tires and wheels. Uh, I'd like to do the same thing with this one that I'm gonna do with that one. I'd like to have two 70s that are uh, complete, pretty much brand new. Um, be fun to go riding have people over and just take the 70s out and i'm not really into them for a lot of money um 100 bucks i mean it was a friend that uh hooked me up but uh still it's it's not often that you get something uh get some 70s for that cheap and um i mean pe some people might not uh see the vision of uh buying a rolling chassis but in reality most of the stuff that's left over that needs to be uh, replaced is uh, stuff that I would buy anyway. So it made no sense to purchase a complete 70 for a thousand bucks that's like, looks like crap, isn't really uh, complete or uh, doesn't run. Um, I never really uh, had much luck with the 70 engines. Every one that I've had was kind of slow. Um, the points always went on them. I guess that might have been the, the older. I'm not sure if the uh, 85 had points. I think it did. Um, it's been a while. But uh, yeah, I'd really like to uh, get these things going. This is going to be one of the uh, next projects for maybe uh, 2021 if I get to them. Uh, hopefully that's the case. These things are always fun. It's always fun to have something for... Uh, friends that come over and ride um you know if you collect three wheelers you understand uh there's people that scoop these things up you know there's collectors that have 20 30 of them in their garage they're getting harder and harder to find for cheap and um i guess we'll see how long it takes for me to uh start hoarding parts for this thing i guess um 
I'll have to start looking into the engines and figuring out what kind of engine to get for this thing. Um, I think, assuming that I finish these two, I will be, hmm, let's see, one, two, I think I have owned six or seven of these things. Um, they've never really been a priority. They just kind of fall in my lap, or at least they did for many years. Um, like I said, it's getting harder to find them now. But, uh, and people know what they're worth and know that they can get money for them. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully there will be videos of me uh, spending lots of money on parts on these things and putting them together and putting them to use. Uh, until next time, um, hit that subscribe button. I will be posting many more videos. I have a lot of purchases that have to be uh, posted and um, more. I buy more stuff every day. I have a uh, ongoing hoard that's growing and growing. If you're into this kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button. I also have a backup channel to my main channel. My main channel is Moto Pimp Mark. And my backup channel for three wheelers is Project 3 ATC, all spelled out. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Going three wheeling, it's my lucky day.